What has been the best corporate Darwin award? A decision made by a company that basically killed the business? I caught a late night AM radio talk show years ago where an author was discussing a book I think was called something like Misfortune 500, and was full of stories like these. One I remember was about an airline that had a companion program to give a free airline ticket to their frequent business travelers so their wives could accompany them on trips. One airline exec had the bright idea of sending a letter to the wives after a ticket was used asking them how they enjoyed the trip. More than a few wives wrote to ask what trip? Life locks advertisements with the co-founder Todd Davis SSN on the sides of trucks and on TV telling people to try and steal his identity because Life Lock was protecting him. Don't antagonize the internet. That did steal his identity. 13 times. Within 2 years. He lost millions of dollars. Also, his identity was stolen so much, the FTC ended up fining the company 12 million dollars for deceptive advertising because they weren't 100% effective like the ads claimed. After that, the company kept getting fined and sued. It's still around, but nowhere close to the strength it was. IBM, we'll make the computers and Bill, you write the software, Bill, can I keep the software IBM? Yeah who cares about software? Oh it goes a lot deeper than that. In the 70s IBM executives refused to allow their R&D department to research personal computers because they considered the idea of a computer in the home preposterous. When the Apple II was released and sold like hotcakes IBM was caught completely off guard. Now desperate to enter the market they ordered a group of engineers to build a personal computer on a shoestring budget with very little lead time. The resulting computer was built out of commonly available parts and using the DOS operating system written by Microsoft, an IBM partner at the time. Microsoft bought DOS from a developer who had effectively written it out of his garage, as QDOS, quick and dirty operating system. Microsoft made a few changes and renamed the product MS-DOS. But IBM famously didn't buy the source code, a move that would haunt them for decades to come. The IBM PC was significantly cheaper than the Apple II and began to make headway in the market. Soon after though groups of engineers discovered that it had been built with commonly available parts and were able to construct their own equivalents. So called IBM clones. The only part that was proprietary to IBM was the BIOS chip, that controlled the input output, but this chip was soon reverse engineered and the market was filled with inferior clones. Microsoft however was free to sell commercially available copies of DOS, so you could buy an IBM clone for half the price of a true IBM machine that ran the exact same software. Years later IBM tried to rein in the competition by introducing the PS-2. An IBM proprietary machine that would beat the pants out of the cloned machines performance wise and would run proprietary software that was better than the competition, or so they thought. Microsoft was tasked with developing the IBM proprietary OS 2 warp operating system. During development Microsoft insisted that IBM allow them to develop a multi-threaded operating system, an OS that could run multiple programs simultaneously. IBM's executives steadfastly refused, claiming that multi-threaded OSs were for mainframes, and that home PCs didn't get to do that. Microsoft wrote OS 2 as a single-threaded old-school OS. But having already developed the technology for a multi-threaded OS they put it into their next flagship product for PC. Windows 95. Cut a few decades later IBM doesn't even make PCs anymore, having sold off the unprofitable side of that business to Lenovo. Short-sighted seers couldn't understand that times were changing, and their insistence on following obsolete thinking resulted in them losing their market share. Home Grocer started a grocery delivery service that had a colorful peach logo on their delivery vans. They were an early concept but starting to take off. Then they were bought by a company that changed the name to Webvan and changed to logo to Bad W so, that company bought a brand that had gained strong recognition and immediately killed it. What were they thinking? Webvan, of course went under. In the UK we say Hoover instead of vacuum cleaner. There's a point in every Brit's life where they learn that Hoover is actually a brand name. They had a complete monopoly over vacuum cleaners in the UK, could do whatever they wanted. Then they decided to do some insane special offer giving away plane tickets with Hoover purchases. So people started buying them for the plane tickets, 
then giving away binning selling dirt cheap the hoover they didn't need. Hoover couldn't afford the plane tickets and tried to duck out of it. The courts made them give the plane tickets they promised. Now hoovers are so unheard of that people don't even realize it's a brand but use the word synonymously for vacuum cleaner. If that's not a business Darwin award then nothing is. I worked for the master of killing a company, twice. I got to witness Carl Lee Burt kill Circuit City from the inside and relive him do the same thing to 24 hour fitness. Basically his formula is to pay people less and expect the same work. After he kills the culture and runs off the best employees he mimics the closest competitor. He fundamentally does not understand what it is like to be an employee. Please expand on this. It seems relevant to some other things on my mind lately. You're promoted to CEO. I hand you a sheet of expenses. You take a magic marker and just cross stuff off that has no value or is a waste. Via Freaky Friday magic you are now a ground level employee. You are making 60-70k a year as a top performer. Well, now you are fired because your pay will no longer be based off performance and you make more than the new Hawaii cap $10 per hour sounds a lot better for the paper of expenses so let's hire replacements for the 10 year employee who proudly represents the company at this rate. Did you make the cut and get to keep your job? You're probably a mid level performer but no you can be lazy because you're hourly now. Also the pros have been replaced by people who this is their first job. Customers are still expected to pay the same rate of course. You hope they don't get a new hire who destroys their confidence in the company you work for. All the nice perks are gone. The professionals are leaving all left and now you have goals to hit. Oof this place you quit. It's crazy how closely this resembles the job I currently have. Except it's in the airline industry so the negative impacts on customers are much higher than they would be at retail or a gym. Very sad to see. Fortunately I'm leaving soon. My husband and I were both at Circuit City during that period. Our store lost 17 employees in less than an hour. We called it Black Wednesday, I'm 99% sure it was a Wednesday. It's been a long while. Husband worked for Firedog, so he was basically made of Teflon. He was the best tech they had, so if they pissed him off, they were SOL fastest way to piss a guy off. Mistreat his wife, whether or not you think he's paying attention. I worked in merch. They fired out team lead, who had been with the company for 9 years and knew more about every part of the store than our ops manager did. Honestly, she should have been ops manager, but she was passed over constantly. They expected me, who had been with the company less than 4 months to be able to do everything she did, and then some. The last straw was when I needed to change a shift because I literally had no voice. My co-worker did me a solid and went to go put in the change 5 minutes after, he came to me and said the ops manager said no. Luna Max needs to come in when she's scheduled, not just whenever she feels like it. I did my shift, then wound up in urgent care. Strep throat, it turns out is contagious enough that no matter how diligent you are with washing your hands and keeping your coughs away from people, other people get it anyway. The stuff lives on surfaces anywhere from 2 to 5 days, I tried. I really did. I even sat out in my truck to gingerly sip down my cup of soup to keep my germs out of the break room. One fourth of our already understaffed store got sick, and I got reprimanded for calling out after urgent care via text message. You know, because literally no voice. Mr. Luna Max found out, and he was pissed. He conferred with some of our colleagues, and made the decision to put in applications elsewhere. Within the week, he interviewed and won a job at a top university in our state. He recommended some of said colleagues for positions at his soon to be new office, and they got hired, too. He then told me that I didn't have to put up with workers any longer if I didn't want to. He the TV team lead, the second best fire dog tech, and myself all put our notice in on the day I returned to work about a week later. Telltale Games buying a lot of different expensive IPs to recreate the success of their first The Walking Dead game season without realizing that the success was due mostly to timing, when the market was tapping into the post-apocalyptic horror, and it was smack dab in the middle when The Walking Dead series was running. To mitigate the expenses of these expensive IPs, Minecraft, Guardians of the Galaxy, Batman, ETC, they forced the developers to work their freaking butts off without much compensation. 
putting them to finish a 2 3 hour episode within 2 months or so. Not to mention they were working on multiple games at once with this strict timeline. No one were buying the other games so Telltale's response was to buy even more to try and see if something would stick, but alas it did not and it ran itself into bankruptcy earlier this year, leaving the final season of The Walking Dead game, still the best selling game they've ever produced, unfinished. Skybound, who also produces the TWD comics, thankfully picked it up and the season and saga will be completed. But man, I don't know what the seers at Telltale Games were thinking. Like and subscribe for more daily Reddit videos.